This is ABTV, Animal Bites Television. People ask me all the time, what's it like at BHB? The day-to-day -day grind with it, especially since we've downsized into a new facility. So I figured let's take today and I'll give you a close-up, in-depth look of what it's like each day at BHB Reptiles. in 1989 and for 20 years basically my only focus in life was to grow the collection my dream was to be the largest reptile breeder in the world and over those years I had the opportunity to work with such amazing animals and produce snakes that I'd only dreamed about working with when I was a kid of course I'm always reinventing myself so over time my vision and my dream changed from being the biggest to really working on more of an educational style to my life. The one constant through that entire process was my wife, Lori. Uh, when we first met, I was terrified of snakes. I wouldn't even go in the room where he had them, and then it's just something to where gradually over time you get used to them, and next thing I know, somehow I have a section to take care of, and then my whole life consists of them. I'm not really sure how that happened, but. <laughs> Back when I first started, it was really just me and Lori. We did all the cleaning, we did all the feeding. Everything having to do with the husbandry of the animals was falling on our shoulders. Over time, we got busy and we had other things going on, so obviously we brought on help. And over the last 20 years, we've had a lot of people working with us. At our peak, we had 12 full-time animal keepers. Now, we're just down to four, and it's really like a family here. Really, the crew is the backbone of things here at BHB. You know, back in the day, I did all the work, but now I travel constantly, whether it's for filming, educational shows, or speaking engagements. So I'm not here that much, so I have to rely on my crew to really care for my animals because we really want each cage to be cared for as much as every other cage. It's important, and right now, although my crew has a good time here, they take it extremely seriously. They understand that Every amount of care that that snake or that lizard needs is up to them. And I'm really fortunate right now that the crew we have really, really cares. It's a good time working here. I love working with the animals. Ball pythons are my favorite snakes to work with. Um, I love to work with some other species, but I work here primarily with ball pythons, and it's what I like to do. Yeah. I tell you, the thing that I probably am the most passionate about right now in life is educating people. I love it when I can take someone that's fearful of snakes and actually educate them about how amazing they are. I always say the opposite of fear is knowledge. So to us, in my life right now, it's all about trying to get people as much knowledge as they can about snakes and hopefully change their opinion to realize how amazing these animals are. I would say like any fear, just really try to be open-minded and um, work with an animal, whether it's a snake or a lizard, whatever you're afraid of, that someone you already know is tame and is not gonna bite, and then you can slowly just realize over time, oh, okay, this, this is a cool animal, like it's not gonna, I think most people are scared of getting bit is what it is, and, and that really is a rarity. So once mm -hmm. you realize that's not the case, then you can see the animal for what it is. We try to have a family atmosphere here. As a matter of fact, when it comes to me and Lori and our family, we even bring our dogs, Artemis the Husky and Zeus the Black German Shepherd to work each and every day. And although sometimes they can be a little bit of a handful, it's just awesome to have them with us each and every day. There's no doubt the question I get asked more than any other question is what's my favorite animal or what's my favorite snake? And I always answer it the same way. Basically, it's like asking a mother of five who their favorite child is. I tell you, I haven't seen an animal or a snake that I haven't liked. I mean, 
I'm just in awe of each and every animal I see. So I always say maybe my favorite snake is the one I'm looking at right now because as soon as I'm done looking at that one, I'll go to the next one and that'll be my favorite snake. So I can never choose. It changes a lot. Um, again, my my interest in the reptile isn't that I grew up with a passion for reptiles or anything. Mine is more uh, just experience with what we work with or what new things he gets. Um, I like a lot of Asian rats. Um, I'm particular to a lot of corn snakes. Um, I'm becoming fond of like the rhino rats the more I work with them. So it kind of changes over time. I do love snakes. My favorite animal, however, I would have to say I'd say the wolf is probably my favorite animal overall. Well, we don't really have any boas that I like to work with, but it have to be somewhere along the boas, between the rainbows and, well, it's just rainbows that we have here, so. There's no doubt that nine and a half years ago, the biggest change of my life happened, and that's when I started snake bites. It kind of just invigorated me, and when I started to see people's comments and messages, how you know, my passion and sharing changed people's perception of animals. It kind of fueled my fire. And all those years of trying to build the biggest collection of snakes, and that's all I really cared about, all of a sudden didn't seem as important to me. Not that I didn't want to have an awesome collection or that I didn't want to work with tons of animals, because I certainly do, but all of a sudden, the thing that really mattered to me was taking my love of animals and trying to get other people to love them as much as I do. And I always thought that if you could just convince people that you love something so much, maybe they would care for it too. Maybe it would be infectious. And Snake Bites has really changed my life. And of course, a couple years ago when I rebranded as Animal Bites, and the idea of the future would be to really expand beyond just reptiles into all animals and start providing amazing, educational, passionate, entertaining type shows about all animals, not just reptiles, but certainly for me with the special affinity towards reptiles and snakes, and then even going into the TV world and reaching an entirely new audience. So now the future of snake bites is really amazing. You know, we're taking it more serious than ever. We want to do more production. We want to do more outreach. We want to do more shows. I mean, I tell you, it's really all I think about these days is, is how I can reach people with the message of love of wildlife. Much like BHB Reptiles, the early days of Snake Bites was basically just me and Lori. I mean, we would shoot stuff, edit stuff, promote stuff. It was all us. The biggest change that's really happened just recently is bringing on more help for that with Nico behind the camera, as well as doing all the editing and a bunch of creative ideas. And of course, Steph reaching out to people and continuing to expand. Bringing on that team and hopefully a growing team has really changed the professionalism of Animal Bites and Snake Bites. I'm the administrative assistant at BHB Enterprises. I handle all the social media for Animal Bites TV and uh, work a lot with Snake Bites TV. Uh, I'm super happy that we get to be so creative here. Part of my job here is just to like talk to people and make them feel like they can do it. Like they can, like they've never had a reptile in their life and uh, they just need a couple tips and pointers or just some support from you know people that have kept reptiles for a while and um, we've got 27 years of experience here so um, it's, that's probably the funnest part of my job is talking to people that uh, really just want to learn. So. With Animal Bites slash Snake Bites TV I am the head editor. Um, I edit all the episodes that you see. Favorite part of my job is probably coming up with new creative ideas um, and also Another thing that I love about this job is the equipment I get to use. One new thing people can expect from Snake Bites slash Animal Bites is a more fun atmosphere. Because, and I haven't made this a secret, is that I am not a snake guy. I don't consider myself a snake guy or a snake lover, per se. Um, so to bring in someone with like a mentality of how do we brand this to a wider audience, how do we take this product to a a wider audience I think is a is a very appealing thing to me because snakes whether you like to admit it or not are kind of a niche market kind of thing it's like a niche thing so to be able to try and brand 
that and make it more acceptable to a wider demographic as a whole is, is, a, is a good good thing. So there it is, guys. I hope you've enjoyed a little bit of a peek into my world here at BHB, snake bites, animal bites, and maybe you even get a better understanding of why I'm doing the things I'm doing. But I realize that none of this is possible without your support. The things you guys do with watching, sharing, favoriting, subscribing, that's what's making all of this possible. So you guys are a very important role in my future and my plans for the future. And as always, I was Facebooking and tweeting my way through Things. So make sure to follow me over at SnakeBites TV and on Instagram at SnakeBites.tv. And guess what, guys? Now on Snapchat at SnakeBites TV. Until next week, you've been watching Snake Bites. Hi, I'm Peter Birch, an Aussie bloke who loves wildlife. My respect for nature started when I was a young boy in rural New South Wales. Since then, it's exploded into an obsession. New episodes every Thursday, only on Animal Bites TV.